The Sennheiser MKE 200 microphone has been announced today. I've had it for the past couple of days, so I'm just going to run through some of its main features and my first impressions. How's it all going today, Amy? It's an incredibly small microphone, you can chuck it in your kit bag, it's really really light, you won't know that it's on the top of your camera, which is really useful for vloggers or filmmakers that want to record stuff on the fly. It comes with a dead cat, which is obviously really useful for wind reduction, and it has a built-in suspension mount, so say if you're like moving around with your camera or you're walking or something, it won't just get all these horrible thuds, it does quite a good job of shock absorbing that. As you'd expect, it has a cold shoe which then attaches to the hot shoe of your camera so you can just pop it on top and it sits really nicely capturing whatever audio you're sort of pointing your camera towards. It's completely battery free, you just plug it in, it comes with a 3.5mm cable that comes in a TRS or a TRRS. Now what does that mean? It basically means that there's two different types of aux cables, one with uh, three little rings and one with two, and they work for different devices, which basically means that you can plug this microphone into your mirrorless camera or whatever camera you have using a 3.5mm jack, but you can also plug it into laptops, phones, and all sorts, which is so cool for getting audio on the fly. And that's one of my favorite things about this microphone is you can just, it's so small, you can pop it in your pocket, go about your day, and then if you hear some awesome bit of audio or you do want to capture some video on your phone, which because they have such exceptional cameras nowadays, but less so exceptional microphones, then you can just pop it, plug it into your phone and you can capture some Atmos or some high quality audio while you're out on a bow. Now, I'm using this microphone to record myself now, that's why I haven't got it in my hand, so you can hear some of the quality that you're getting from it. But we also brought it along to shoot some behind the scenes footage of one of the other shoots we were doing. And I had a quick little wander and got some Atmos while I was doing so. So what I'll do is I'll play some of these clips for you now, just so that you have an idea of what the microphone sounds like in various different shooting scenarios. How's it all going today, Amy? It's going well so far, I think. I'm excited to... Um, this is a bit of a different type of review for us, isn't it? We want mm. to try and be... We want people to know what we think about the cameras a bit more. We're in a unique position, so it'll be nice to be able to give people more of a a true outline of our experience with the cameras I think which is quite hard to do in a standard review when you're trying to get a picture of a you know a tree or something. 80% of the video I shot in AF so I really really gave it a go and I did get on with it I'd say the majority of the time handheld a lot of it I was shooting on a 70 to 200 yeah so then trying to like handheld like use the focus ref rolling on both cameras but one is rolling as well oops this is take two cups I hope that sounds good to you. Remember to hit subscribe and turn on those notifications because we do chuck out videos all the time. If you have any questions about this microphone, I'd be happy to answer them, so just pop them in the comment section below. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching. <laughs>